Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Tactics Redux. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we try to continue and continue to try and, uh, well, let's see. So we got guys, oh no, no, get out, get out, get out, he's gonna be shot again. He wasn't shot again, okay, so we have somebody down there, hmm, I guess I should have, I should have, uh, realized that. Okay, so what do we have? We have a guy there with a razor, laser rifle, and, um, hmm. Probably not gonna be able to sneak. Oh, crap. Get down, get down. Who's shooting at you? You're good, you're good. Just stay there. Stay where you are. Okay, so Jack, Jax is gonna need some healing. I'm gonna take a couple of steam packs here. I'm not sure if that's gonna help us right now, but or help us too much, because as soon as he gets shot, he just basically loses half his health, which is a big problem. Oh boy. That was a good roll right there. Okay, so let's get you to sneak if you can. She cannot. Let's remove this. And she cannot sneak. Okay, okay. It's all good. It's all good. So the guy's running away. Maybe I can sneak now. Yes, indeed I can. That's good. Uh, now the big idea here, or the big objective here, is to take care of guys like that one over there. And like guys that might be going around here. So we have one down there. Can you sneak? He cannot. Okay. Not, not a big surprise. We have somebody over there. Don't want to shoot him. But what I also want to do is I want to scout, so I'm going to have to be very careful. Is that an entrance? No, there's not. Okay. So, just scout this place, make sure there's nobody around here, because I need to see them going around, and oh, we have them over there. And a plasma rifle right, right there is the big problem. How do I do this? I can't. I can't really do this. So what I can do... No, I can't really do this. Uh, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. No, 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 no. She got shot at the first one. How much damage was that? 293. Yeah, yeah, it's too dangerous. There's no way for me to do it like that. So my only option is to either snipe them or, and even then, that's not going to help. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay, so yeah, my idea here is going to be to snipe that guy. But yeah, let's first let's take care of this one. So he doesn't really have uh, that good of a to hit chance here for us, and even if he does, we're pretty good as we are. So let's wait for them. Let's let's go over there and uh, actually stay in front of the door so we can maybe take a few shots. Maybe I don't know. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the fact that she's alone in there doesn't really help. We have another guy coming up. We have that guy hiding, which is good, and that guy continues to shoot, which is totally fine. That guy definitely is not gonna survive if he approaches us. I don't know if he will, but, well, he seems to be interested in that, yeah. <laughs> Man, those things, I'm not sure if those things would be able to lift any loads, but, yeah, sure. Whatever your name says, right? Whatever your name says. No! Miss. And that guy, okay, so they have two turns. Yeah, that should be totally manageable for right now. But those guys down there are gonna be an issue. The fact that I'm in the dark is also very, very important. Uh, let's see, so if I could take a shot, I can't because they're, yeah, okay, so if I do this, and I use this weapon instead, and I stay outside of the door, I just get shot. I can take a shot there, and uh, that is a critical as expected, let's, let's try this, let's see what happens there, so I'm gonna continue and try to shoot that guy, because he will whittle down my health over the time. So, oh, that was a miss. 77. Not a surprise. Okay, just stay where you are. Uh, actually, stay over here to this side. That probably is gonna... Yeah, the career is their chance to hit for a little while. So this guy's going down either with one or two bursts with the EMP shells. That guy might have something broken or something. Uh, so, okay, so he's not gonna hit me. That one's not gonna shoot. This guy is apparently kind of lost in, in thought or something. I don't know what's going on with him. I might just... Mm, let's do this. Let's do it like so. Okay, that's a kill there. How much damage was for that guy? That was 104 damage for this one. That's pretty decent. It means that our effective range is still up. So let's just do this. And I think that is going to be alright. So that guy is going to require a couple of these. That should bring him down to... Hmm... I didn't mean bring him actually literally down. Okay. Uh, and then I can hide, which might be a good idea, considering the fact that... Yeah. Well, let's see. 
You're gonna stay as backup, and Stitch probably needs to be up here as well, just in case something terrible happens, or I don't know. Let's see. So if he shoots me, he can kill me. If he shoots me twice, that guy is not gonna be a problem. That guy is... Yeah, they have line of sight. Okay, he just sh shot me once, and that guy didn't shoot me at all. So I, that means I can still shoot at him, which is a good thing, and I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go with that and see what happens. 50. Come on, get back up. And that is not a kill. Oh, no! Oh, damn it. I did a bad thing there. Okay. It's not a problem. I probably can still kill him. There we go. Perfect. And I probably can still shoot as well. Let's do that, because these are criticals. Uh, and he's crippled. Okay, Steffi, what do you need to do? You need to shoot him once and not miss. There you go. And now you need to reload and get that out. So, uh, let's do... Nah, this is not going to hit. This is not going to... It's not gonna work, that weapon. It's gonna work better than the shotgun, though, so... Oh! Yeah, shoot your friend! Shoot your friend over there! Although I will maybe be able to, to kill that guy with the... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just take a few steam packs here. Uh, that's gonna take care of my turn, but we're safe for right now, so I'm not really afraid of anything right now. Let's just take care of that. And then you take the last one. And Farside takes a shot there, she can shoot that guy. That was not a kill, and that was a hit right there. Reload, Stitch, you can't do anything, so just stay there, and you guys as well. Uh, so let's see, 21, 64, what? How does that work? And it's doing very little damage, all things considered. Yeah, 18 and 12 points of damage, that's kind of bad. Let's hope for a critical or something. So the guy has decided that he doesn't want to fight, that's okay, I can respect that. This guy has decided that he's a stormtrooper or something, so he won't hit me at all. On the contrary, I will continue shooting at him and hopefully hitting him for very little damage, unfortunately. Yeah, this weapon is not that great. It should be way better. But, well, it is it's it is what it is. Uh, let's see, Jax. Let's see what I can do with you. I can shoot this guy a couple of times. And hopefully maim him in a certain way that will always concuss. There we go. Actually, I could bring them forward up a little bit if I wanted to, but there's no need to that to do that. Okay, so he's running away. He's gonna get his, himself into the line of sight of Steffi, which is not gonna work out well for him. That was a miss, surprisingly enough. Man, that was very, very well aimed. Uh, so we got 123. I could shoot him. I don't want to shoot him, though. I want to shoot this guy. And that was a hit. And that was another hit. And that was another hit as well. Man, we're we're lucky. We're lucky right now. So let's step to the side there. Can't shoot that guy. Can't shoot... Oh! Okay, so that guy sees me. Got a 58% chance to hit. That's pretty bad. Let's crouch. Okay, Farside can do the same thing, except she's a little bit worse at it than I am. So let's do this. And 40%. I got him! How much was that? 11 points of damage. Yeah. Not good enough, not good enough. Okay, so they're gonna stay there, hopefully not get killed. I, that might be a plasma rifle. And it is a plasma rifle. Let's see what happens. So that guy knows we're here, he moved. That guy is apparently interested in resuming the battle. That guy is gonna shoot us for a hit on Farsight. Hopefully that is that. That was that. Um, so Farsight is gonna need to take some... Oh. Okay, he's knocked out. That's good. Farside is gonna get out of here. Is gonna she's gonna get support from Stitch. That's uh, okay. Stitch is now gonna apply some doctoring skills onto her because she needs that kind of help. And that guy is apparently interested in being shot at as well, which is totally fine by me. Let's see what I can do to this guy instead. That was a miss. Sixty-four percent. That is totally acceptable, especially considering the fact that we have been hitting the sixty-fours very uh, often. So that guy is coming our way. Mm, I don't have the shotgun ready. Please shoot him. Please shoot him. You can shoot him. Come on. That guy is really not interested in this wall affair. So the fact that that guy down there is out of commission, the guy to the west, um, probably is going to allow us to... I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah, I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, so Jax needs to shoot that guy. Let's see if I can shoot him with this. 80% is pretty good. Let's go with that. And I got a hit for some amount of damage, 30. 
You got another hit for a concussion and 55 points of damage. Fantastic. Farsight can probably help as well. Although I wouldn't counter it or anything. So let's see. Stitch. Uh, Stitch, is, Stitch just can't equip stuff right now. I got a 62 right there. Oh, I knocked him out. That was good. How much damage was that? 31. Not a whole lot, but enough. Enough. Okay, so. We only have that guy there to, uh, to bother with. Um, yeah. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. I think we're good. The sooner we get to these guys that are knocked out, the better. But that guy is gonna be a problem. He's crippled now. Uh, come on. Come on. Nope, that was a miss. Okay. Jax can shoot at that guy. 95% chance to hit. Let's go ahead and do that. See if she doesn't need to equip the um the jackhammer that would be a good thing and that is not a kill that is a miss come on far side far side misses the most 90 uh, 95 percent of everyone so let's just bring you around here far side bring you around there as well that guy's gonna be an issue but for right now i think we're we're gonna be fine let's equip this on stitch so he's ready just in case the guy's gone that guy's gonna die but yeah that one is oh he's out of ammo come on Seriously? All that trouble? Hate it when they run out of ammo. Okay, let me kill you then. With these, with the proper weapons here. Okay, so he's down. Let's get up and let's continue our uh, movements here. So we need that guy down because we need... Actually, we don't need that guy down. Who has line of sight on him? That'll be far sight. Let's take a couple of shots. Uh, and that would be a miss and a critical. Fantastic. Let's bring Jax around here. He's gonna take a shot there as well. That was 24 points of damage. That is okay. Farsight can reload. And we can bring Stitch along as well, I believe. He can shoot. That's good. And, uh, yeah, let's bring you along as well. And Muzo. Because why not? Just have them as backup or as meat shields or whatever. However they choose to help us. That guy's definitely not gonna be able to get in there. Otherwise, the other dude would already have tried to do that. Jax just got knocked out. That's pretty bad. That is really bad. It's not pretty bad. That's really, really bad. Uh, so let's see. Far side is right there. So she's gonna get line of sight if I do this. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. That was not a knockout. That was not a knockout. He is, however, almost destroyed. So maybe if I'm lucky. It, and I'm not gonna be lucky, by the way. No, I'm not going to be lucky. I could aim for the head. A CPU, yeah, the one. Okay, so that was 46 points of damage. So what I need to do is I need to send these guys up here. Earl is going to need to serve as bait. Okay. Yeah, that's basically all that he's going to amount to right now is bait. And Muzo is going to serve as bait as well. No, don't shoot that. That was, that was a misclick. Uh, I could shoot him. Oh, actually, I can shoot him. Let's save Scum here a little bit, because I think we're about to, to see Jax die here. So let's do this. And hopefully, I won't need to save Scum. Uh, but yeah, I am requiring a lot of RNG right now. Yeah, I'm requiring two hits on a 48. And I'm enough amount of damage. Come on! Seriously? What? <sighs> and I mean, it's, it's just risky. Oh, my chance hit got up a little bit. Don't know why. I have no idea, but let's kill him. Is this better? No, it's not. So shut up and kill that guy, please. Okay. Well, we get. Wait, let's see what happens. So he's not gonna attack me. He's gonna attack Earl. Earl's gonna take damage only only once. So yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, Farsight doesn't even need to shoot that guy. Steffi doesn't even need to shoot that guy. She is gonna equip this. Gonna equip this. I don't know. Sometimes I get some accents out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever. She is winded. That's really bad. I didn't notice that. That is really, really bad. So we need to kill that guy as soon as possible. Let's do that. And let's kill this guy as soon as possible as well. Stitch is gonna shoot this guy a couple of times. Earl can shoot this guy as well. A couple of times. Muzo can go ahead and do the same thing. Could have gone with that weapon, but why? Why is the question here? Let's reload that and we're good. Now, of course, we still have one guy over here that is um, knocked out. We have another guy over there that's knocked out. I don't know how long they are going to take. I don't know if they're, uh, if it's like a, a set amount of time uh, or if it's random. I 
that's something that I've never been able to uh, to decipher or to, to track down. Oh boy, her being winded is a pro. Okay, so this guy's dead. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's continue. That's one less worry to, uh, I guess, worry about. So the guy is... Uh, okay, let's go ahead and bring you there. Shoot this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a critical. 400, oh, 243 damage. That was pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to send Steffi, or Farsight, rather, and Stitch. And Earl can just uh, take a few steam packs, and he's going to continue with his adventures on the next turn, probably, because this turn is going to be all about the steam packs. Uh, and the reload as well. Yeah. Okay. So that guy just got up. He's going to take a shot at, sti a shot at Stitch. He's going to be shot at by Farsight. And he's blinded, which is good. And I'm going to get a little bit closer so I can shoot him a little bit better. Okay, Stitch can take a shot. Another shot. And I think we're done. Let me save the game just in case. Oh, man. That was an interesting one. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so everybody's good to go. You need to reload there. You need to reload there as well. You need to reload. You're good to go. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, so we got guys with plasma rifles down here. And, Ste and yeah, Stitch needs to do some amount of doctoring here as well for Steffi. Steffi's going to need to stop. Stitch is going to do his thing. Um, yeah, just do his thing. Come on. Fully healed. You can heal Jax as well. Even though he's knocked out, he's, he's going to be fine. Uh, let's bring Steffi around here because this guy's got a, a plasma rifle and we need it. Uh, no, actually, I need a pulse rifle. That's what I need. But I'm going to keep it around just just as a precaution. Maybe I'm going to need it or something. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, there we go. That's the one. And Stitch can go ahead and also take a few steam packs just to top his health up, up and just do his thing. Okay. Come on. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. We got a computer here, or terminal, anyway. Um, I need to reload this stuff. Everything is good. We got a terminal. We got a humanoid over there. A humanoid bot. We got what looks like a sewing machine or something. No, these are computers. Um, let's see what Stitch can do over here. That's going to look scientific for sure, but I'm still going to try to activate it without science. Yep, it just looks scientific. Let's do his thing. Failed. You can do it. There we go. Thank you for activating Vault Zero Access Terminal. Security locks on hazardous weapon storage bay G03A05 have been removed. All guards have been informed to allow you access. Have a nice day. Is that what I think it is? We're out of combat, apparently, for some reason. Is that that thing? Security locks on storage number G and J's and all this sort of stuff. I don't think that's going to be what it, I think it is, but I'm going to give it a try. So she's sneaking. She's not gonna engage. Let's hope that it is. It is! Okay, and these guys are disabled. That's amazing! That's amazing! Although they have detected me for some reason. Okay, and these are all unlocked, right? Let's let's look at my... Okay, good. Let's see what we have here. Give me healing supplies. Locked. Okay, so open it. You should be able to open it. Okay, you sh I said you should be able to open it. Let's make your life a little bit easier. Let, no, I'm not going to remove your armor. Just stay there. Unlock there. It's going to be locked as well. Yeah. I liked, I, liked, I liked how in the original games you could just inspect the uh, locks. And it would tell you if there were a lock or not. Uh, but yeah, of course, that doesn't happen here. They, they hate. Everybody hates the right click for you to see the descriptions of stuff. I, I love that thing. That's my, it's not my favorite feature, but it is up there. It is up there. Uh, in Fallout 1 and 2, how you can just inspect stuff. That's amazing. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Some crap? Okay, well, uh, let's send Steffi in there to get that stuff. And of course she's gonna get stuck, because why not? Why Why not? I mean, it's far sight. She, she, she's, she's down into that so, stuff, so yeah. But let's get stuck over here. Actually, she got stuck because of that turret, I think. So let's get those. She can't carry those. Uh, let's put that in there. Send Muzo in to get the... Uh, Depleted uranium as well, because uh, that can can be very handy. I hope it's not gonna be necessary anyway, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay. Uh, next up, we have a locker over here with hopefully medical equipment. Give me medical equipment. We have indeed medical equipment. That's amazing. 
Uh, oh, that is really amazing. That is really, really, really amazing. That is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. You see? Three first aid kits and three doctor's bag as well. Awesome. Uh, let's take all of that. And also some cigarettes and stuff like that, even though... Menthol cigarettes. Hmm. Even though we don't need that. Those look different, or are they already used? They might be already used or something. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we have here in this locker. I knew this was gonna be good. We have a rocket launcher. Okay. Did Muzo get the rockets from here? I think he did. Yeah, he did. Okay, so let's get the, uh, the rocket launcher here. Earl could be the one as well. I... Oh, no, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, let's see, Muzo can carry a bunch of stuff. He's got some grenades as well. Although, these are totally worthless, so let's not carry that. That's, that's, there's no point using that. Uh, and let's equip this instead. Or actually, let's do this. Let's, do, let's switch that to that one and this to this one. And the reason for that is because I want uh, the uh, M2 to be uh, automatically equipped with um, with these uh, with these bullets when it gets so basically this is what happens it gets that but if it were the other way around it wouldn't it would get the depleted uranium even even though there's not enough for a, a long uh, uh, an entire clip or an entire magazine or whatever that thing uses uh, a belt I don't I have no idea uh, so yeah we have some things over there that's pretty good a rocket launcher for starters that's pretty good because I did mention before that I didn't bring mine and we have the outsider we have monster we have a few other things that I don't particularly want or need but I'm gonna bring it them along because there's no real there's no real downside to bringing them along let's see what these are so we have here the monster a gruesome profoundly disturbing old novel telling the story of an aging cynical detective trying to catch a homicidal ho homicidal 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 lunatic while um, investigating a rash of what appears to be routine suicides um, the detective uncovers a much more disturbing plot. A murderous sociopath who kills for mere pleasure is rampaging all over the city. This fiendish villain abducts people and then forces them to kill themselves. I, saw, I don't really understand. Uh, I've seen I've seen this uh, portrayed in uh, in some in in, in some fiction and uh, just yeah just skimming through that one. This Lovecraftian one. Um, or from what I could read, but you guys go ahead and read it if you're interested. Uh, I've seen that portrayed in some fiction where, like, an assassin or, you know, it, if, it, it is effectively an assassin, forces people to kill themselves. Like, how would you do that? I mean, you need to, dis to, to break down somebody to such an extent that they would be incapable of logical thought. Because, I mean, if you have a gun to your head in your own hand, and... Uh, you Let's assume that you can't move your hand. The only thing you can do is just pull the trigger. Uh, and uh, so the guy is like, Hey, you, you kill yourself now or I'll kill you. What? <laughs> no, you do it. F you. Like, you get it? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Beware the jabberwack, my son. Oh, crap. Nope. Okay, we're good. Beware the jabberwack, my son. The jaws, something or other. Who the hell was shooting at whom? Hmm... We have, yeah, some robots. It's fine. You can keep shooting at them. And, of course, it's the glitches and stuff like that. Let's have a chat with this humanoid bot. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the... F what? I don't know what that is. But that's not binary. It, it's not. It's never binary if it starts with a zero, I think. Right? Because it's the same thing. I might be wrong on that one. Okay, let's see what, ha what happens here. Uh, if I uh, activate this terminal... Okay. Of course, it looks scientific. This terminal seems to have unlocked the cryogenics wing. Perhaps that area holds some means of access to the power plant and generators. And yes, it does. I don't remember how it goes. It's actually a pretty interesting uh, turn of events. So we let's see. So we got another level up, which is fantastic, and we have perks, which is absolutely amazing. So. I think I am going to go with better criticals here uh, to try and... Uh, do I have better criticals? Can I get better criticals? Or uh, do I have as many as I, I can? I probably do. Um, so let's see. Action Boy would be interesting, even though I don't really need it for that much at this point. My character is pretty good. Uh, gain Charisma, gain Intelligence, gain nothing. No, don't, I'm not interested in that. Ghost, what is that? Sneak skill enhanced by 20% in dark conditions. Not interested. Uh, light food. I would like night vision, but night vision is so lame. 
Although they did buff it, which is good. 20% is pretty... It's better. It's better, but it, it used to be 10%. So we just, you know, 10% incre increase. It's like 5% to hit chance. It's terrible. Um, so let's see. Hit the deck. No, that's not what I need. I think I'm going to go with uh, either bonus move, which is effectively what I need. Or because action boy is not, there's no point in action boy for me because I have 10, I would get 11. And I'll never be able to get 12, um, at least not not in inside this game now. So bonus move might be a little bit better because it just gives you two action points to, uh, wait a minute, for each level of bonus move you can move 20% further per action point. No, F you, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. You give me two movement action points. What? How do I... Where do I remember that from? That's from the first games? Hmm. That's really bad. That's a really, really bad perk. That is a terrible perk. It should be like 20%. Well, like 20%. Like 50% uh, movement increase. That would be good. That would be really good. And it's still only dedicated to turn-based, but still. Um, so I'm gonna go with, I think, Night Vision. It's not that bad anymore. Yeah. Night Vision is gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna bring your energy ups by as much as en energy weapons by four? By four! Man, that's <laughs> really tricky. Uh, so she could use um, some action points. Let's see. Bonus move, Brown Noser, Bluff Master, Better Criticals would be interesting as well. And I think I'm gonna go with that, to be honest, because that's gonna basically Im improve our. our. Um, our uh, damage output by a bunch. Uh, yeah, better critical seems to be the best course of action here. The action point is not going to really be that necessary. Uh, for you, Minsk... Minsk? Sorry. Stitch and Minsk, they're interchangeable, inter interchangeable in my head for some reason. Um, let's see. I could give him action boy. That's not really necessary, though. I could give him uh, more criticals. That's always nice. That's really always nice. I, I need those. Uh, so, yeah, let's go with that one. And uh, let's bring that up as well. Look at that. He's all as good as he, he was with small weapons. Now he's with energy weapons. That's pretty good. Over here for you, I would need more criticals probably. He doesn't need action points. He doesn't need anything. Everything seems to be good. More criticals. Where is it? Do you have all... How many do you have? You only, you only have one. What? Where's more criticals? Did I... There they are. Okay. Get that and get your energy weapons up. Okay. So he's kind of passable right now for, for energy weapons if I wanted him have that. Um, over here for Muzo. Muzo could use, could benefit from an action point because it is, weapons just take so long. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. Bracing, what is that for? That's for extra strength, yeah. Um, it used to be weapon handling though. Did it change the name? I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure it used to be weapon handling, although it could be in the first games. Mm, let's go with Action Boy here. And just buff him up a little bit there. Um, let's bring his lockpicks up. Because why not? I mean, they're they're better than mine now, so that's good. Even we, even though we're probably not going to need them. Uh, I don't think, but let's see. So she doesn't, she didn't level up. And we're good. We're done with the level ups. Let's save the game. And also, we're done with the episode. I just looked at my second screen right now. Yep. We're out of time, so I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Tactics Redux. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.